According to the National Safety Council, there are around 9 million slips, trips, and falls that lead to emergency room visits each year in the United States. It's truly a silent epidemic. We here at Safety Direct America run lots of floor slip resistance tests all over the country and in our certified testing lab, and we find ourselves often explaining what makes a floor slippery. Now, floors that are clean and dry normally pose very little slip risk. When we add dust or other dry contaminants, such as drywall or concrete dust, these tiny particles can act like ball bearings when they're very round and create a very slippery situation. Now, many floors are polished or glazed or waxed to make them very smooth and glossy because they are incredibly easy to clean, but you do not want to get these kinds of floors wet. Here is an average looking rubber soled shoe on smooth glass, smooth polished granite, rough honed granite, ceramic tile, smooth marble, and rough honed marble. Everything is quite safe in the clean and dry condition. Now walking on floors in the wet condition is a completely different animal. Most serious slips and falls occur in wet or otherwise lubricated floor conditions. When a floor is smooth and wet, we run into the risk of hydroplaning on top of the water, which is extremely difficult to recover from. If you hydroplane for more than a couple of inches, there's a great chance that you're going down. Let's take a look at this smooth polished granite under wet conditions. And here is a smooth polished marble, a smooth ceramic tile, and extremely flat float glass. Very slippery situations. Now when a flooring has sharp points on the walking surface, we get traction under wet conditions. But the points must be sharp and not rounded off bumps. Rounded bumps really don't help us much at all and can be very slippery. Thousands of slip accidents have been recorded on these types of rounded bumpy surfaces, which is why we offer an aluminum-backed, conformable anti-slip tape that will conform to ir irregular surfaces such as these. Sharp points can be seen on this broomed concrete, but really most sharp points can only be seen at a microscopic level, making it hard to tell with the naked eye which floors will be safe and have sharp points, and which will be slippery with no points or with rounded points. Here we see a wet, rough, honed granite that has many sharp points and it's quite safe. This rough honed marble reacts the same way. And this glass has had sharp points etched into it to make it safe. We at Safety Direct America carry floor coatings that can add grit with sharp points to existing floor surfaces. Some are clear and others have color added, but they all aim to put sharp points on a floor that has been found to be slippery in use. Now the only other way we can get traction in the wet condition is through pores etched into the surface. The pores, when filled with water, act like tiny suction cups and give us grip on wet floors. You can see some pores here on what is called salt-finished concrete. But you can have tiny pores on many types of floors that you can only see microscopically. Chemical slip resistance floor treatments, such as Red X and Non-Slip 21, create microscopic pores on floor surfaces, which can occasionally greatly influence the appearance of the floor, such as this black granite that has been heavily overtreated and now appears much more gray than black but we see that the tiny pores created by the treatment make this floor much safer when wet. This ceramic tile is slippery on the untreated half of the tile, but after chemical treatment, this tile has much greater traction in the wet condition, and you visually can't tell at all that this tile has been altered in any way. So when a flooring is expected to get wet, we need sharp points on top of the surface and or pores within the surface to give us good traction. There are no other laws of physics or magic solutions known to all of humankind that will give a floor good wet slip resistance. So reliable slip testing devices will measure the effectiveness of these sharp points and pores on the slip resistance of a floor. We should note here that it's important to test the slip resistance of your floors regularly to make sure that the floor you believe to be safe when wet has not changed through poor maintenance practices or through general wear. At Safety Direct America, we are experts in floor slip resistance testing and we sell all the best available remedial solutions for slippery floor problems such as paint on gritty coatings, chemical treatments, and anti-slip floor tapes. You can find us at safetydirectamerica.com. Thanks for watching and have a safe day.